Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this elegant spiral boning effect. Okay, so you can actually style it anyhow you want. This is it on the sleeve, and this is it around the shoulder. It's a very beautiful and elegant style. So kindly subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload a new video. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a flounce with boning effect, something like this something spiral okay so to do this i just need my fabric i'm working with scuba fabric you can use any fabric of your choice doll face scuba and kaya fabric whatever you wish to use but i prefer to use scuba for this and i'm using i just need my scuba and my regiline bony so i'm working with this regiline bony it can as is actually so okay you can sew on it you can see this line here that is not dotted that's where i'm going to be sewing on so this is a regiline bony and it's very very strong and you can actually sew on this but you can work with normal regular bony that you can sew on also you just need to create a casing for that but for this because i'm going to be sewing it on the fabric directly i don't need to put casing so let's go straight to our drafting there are several ways you can actually draft it you can cut it in front of the flounce or you can cut it like a flare but i like to cut like a flare because i feel it just gives me more spiral effects on its own so the logic there is just that your radius should be as short as possible because the shorter the radius the more spiral you're going to get okay so how do i get my measurements the length of this flare the length of my the length of the spiral that i want actually is six inches so i want it to be six inches long so i can't be cutting six inches because i'm going to be aiming it here like this so i'm just going to be adding one inch allowance to it so i'll make my length seven inches and the radius that i want to use you can use one inch radius one and a half or two inches depending on the fabric that you want but the trick there is just for you to have a smaller radius the smaller your radius the more folds you are going to have on your flare so for this i'm going to be using a radius of two inches because this is a tutorial and i don't want to waste too much fabric and if i had these two inches to my seven inches length i'm going to be having nine inches so i'll be folding my fabric by nine inches so this is my fabric here i'm going to measure nine inches like this Okay, so this is nine inches on the nine inches mark i'm going to fold it into two like we fold our normal 360 flare so once i fold this into two like this i'm going to be folding it into four by nine inches also so i folded it into four like this for my flare so what i just need to do is to measure my nine inches remember the total length is nine inches i measure the nine inches round like this so once I have my 9 inches round, I'm just going to take my 2 inches radius. I decide to work with 2 inches because that is what I want. Like I said, you can use 1 inch, you can use, you can even use half. But it's going to have so many folds that I may not be able to control it. So I think 1 and half or 2 is okay. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this out now. So now I've cut this out now. And then I'm going to slash it open on one side because I'll be joining many flares together. So the thing is, I'm just going to mesh around this so that you see what radius that we have. So you need to measure the space that you want to add your spiral to. Let's say you're adding it around the shoulder. You need to get the round shoulder measurement of the person you're working with. So this is... Okay, remember I took two inches for my radius, and after I cut it out, my two inches gave me around around 16 inches. Okay, so let's say you're working with somebody with a round shoulder of 14 inches, so you know that you have to cut like two or three of this. And if even if you want to pleat or you want to gather it, you can cut as much as four of this, then we'll be folding it. So you can see this is what I'm talking about. If I lift it up, you can see that on its own, it's already giving me nice folds already. So assuming this is even one inches, it will even fold more than this. So the shorter, the smaller your radius, the more folds you get. So I'm just going to cut two or three of these, then I'm going to join it together and bring it back to show us. So I've cut three of these now, just to show us different designs when I'm done. So 
I'm going to take it to the sewing machine now and then sew them together like this. So I'm going to sew this together. So that's true. And then I'm going to join the third one to it now. So I've joined the three flares together now. So it just gave me one very long flare. So the next thing I will do now is just to work on my M line. So I'm going to basically what I want to do is just to sew on my wrong side of the, on the wrong side of my fabric like this. So this is the wrong side. Remember, this is where I sew on. So this is the wrong side of the fabric. So on the wrong side of the fabric, I'm going to take my bony and then I'm going to place it on my fabric like this. And then I'm going to sew on this side of the bony, the white side here. So I'm going to sew it into, by the time I finish sewing it, I'm just going to turn it over like this and then top stitch on it. Okay, so basically this is what I'm going to do. I'll sew it around like this and then when I'm done sewing it, I'm going to top, post, fold it like this and then top stitch on it. So that it can give me something like this. You can see there is a bony inside this. So I'm just going to top stitch on it so that I can have something like this. So now I've sewn it to the fabric, okay? So this is the bony already sewn to our fabric. So you can see the seam line. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to fold it over like this. And then on the seam line that I already have here, I'm going to top stitch on it. You can also sew the bony on it, this side also if you want but i'm not sewing it because it doesn't really matter i just need to fold this over like this and then the same line that i already created is what i'm going to follow and then i'm going to sew it around like that so assuming you are not working with a red line bony that you can sew on what you just need to do is just to fold your fabric like this and then sew so that you have a casing where you can pass your boning into because it's not all bony that i can sew on like this so let's say i'm working with the bony that i cannot sew on i don't have a sample here you just need to create casing for the bony maybe if it's an half inch bony you measure it's just a space that can enter that the bony can enter in, into so once you create your spacing then you dip your bony inside it and then pass it all around so now I've closed it, I just sew it, like I said, following the seam line that I already have here. So I'm just going to trim off any excess that I may have, like something like this. I'll take my scissors and trim it to the minimum. The minimum possible. Okay, so once I trim it, I'll have something this smooth. I remember this is a scuba fabric, it doesn't frill, so I can get away with this but if you want to pass it inside you don't need this remember you already tuck it in when you are creating your when you are creating your casing for the bony okay so now i'm just going to take it to the mannequin now and then show us different ways we can style this flounce this beautiful bony flare so you can use it as a sleeve you can use it as you can pass it around your shoulder, on the neckline, around the waist area, anyhow you want to use it. You just need to style it whatever way you wish to style it. It can even be used as a sleeve. I'm going to show us different methods, different ways we can style our, our flounce effects. You should be creative. You can style it anyhow you want. So it doesn't have any static style just be creative with it and try your best to style it anyhow
so those are some of the styles that you can wear with this just style it the way you want like i said kindly subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so we appreciate your support so far god bless you see you in the next one bye